Get to know Ashley Clark. She's the fabulous founder and CEO of Sense to Sense, a financial literacy company dedicated to empowering children in and outside of the classroom through fun, interactive activities. All right, everybody, Ashley Clark, welcome to the Shandria Show. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for your time today. So let's dive on in. Um, as, a, as the CEO of Sense to Sense, tell me about your financial literacy company and who it serves. Sense to Sense is a financial literacy company that I created for parents looking to talk to their children about finances, aka money. Um, so I have created tools for the whole family to learn together, to help parents teach. A lot of times I heard parents say, I, well, I don't know, nobody taught me, so I wasn't sure. So that's why I'm making this a learning process where everyone can learn together and I'm making it fun. Um, I provide tools for parents so we can go from generational lack to generational wealth. I love it so much. Um, and I love that, that you that you made that your personal mission to not only help the parents and families, but to help their children. Now you're creating the next generation of financially savvy people. And I think that's awesome. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. So who or what inspired your interest in career in finance, investing, and more importantly, budgeting? Uh, I can definitely say, um, I get that question a lot. And so I have to look back in my life and see, well, what was my aha, uh -huh, I want to do this. One big moment is I know I know that in 10th grade, I had an economics teacher with a lady named Miss Clark. And I, I had no idea about economics, but I fell in love with the class. And from there, that's how I um, continue um, for college. I chose my major. Um, I just fell in love with the economy, finances. I mean, even in college, I went to uh, China to do a study abroad to, uh, you know, to study their economics um, and how they work. So, I just, I just like numbers and not just numbers, but money and knowing how things work within um, our community. I think it's awesome to be a kid who, or or a, a teen who was inspired so early on. A lot of times, you know, we we learn about money when it, when we need it. We learn about credit credit when we need it, you know. So I think it's uh, really enterprising of you as a young person to be, you know, really interested early on. And you've had so many amazing experiences, which led to you teaching other people now. So I think that's yes. awesome. <laughs> um, I read that you focus on bridging the gap between where children learn in the classroom versus the information that they need as adults, which is so critical um, because like you said, you had an economics class. I mean, do, do we still offer those classes? Is that still like a traditional subject in school? You know, right. nowadays where you, you don't know, you're 18, the credit card offers are coming in. Right. Get the first job. I mean, nobody, there aren't a lot of people standing up to teach. Um, so I think that there, I see the need for what you do. Um, and I think right. that's incredible. Um, in your opinion, should fa should financial literacy be a part of traditional schools curriculum? Um, in my opinion, I do believe it should be a part of traditional school curriculums. But if they don't teach it, guess what? I want us to teach ourselves. Um, um, when I, I, were, I was a banker and I was in a wealthier part of um, a white neighborhood. And then when I came in the middle of town and I saw more black and brown people, I realized the basis of the information that we knew about finances was totally different. And I do think if that was taught in school, it will be, you know, it'll give us the jump start on how we can learn, you know, how our family, like everybody should know what's gonna happen when they get a credit card. You know, I feel like that's the lesson. Most people say they learn algebra, but never use it in their jobs. But financial literacy, budgeting, investing, saving, we use that every day in our lives. So um, I do think it is, it's a lesson that definitely needs to be taught because more people need the lesson. So tell me about Sense to Sense. How how detailed and intricate do you do you go into teaching? How how detailed do you get? Okay, so things 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 have changed with COVID. Um, initially, I was doing classes. I had planned like a ten city tour uh, last summer to have classes and teach, etc. So with my flat, with well, most all of my items now we're mailing out, and we have a. Uh, 
uh, a cartoon coming out um, for smaller kids, just trying to reach the online paces because now with I'm being at home and trying to reach the masses, it's something that I'm working on. I mean, with our flashcards and going here, is we started that's the word for insurance and it'll tell you you know you get 55 words and it talks about economics banking credit and investment or the initial on the first set of cards so this is like insurance purchase protection to avoid financial loss and we have a second set of flash cards that goes a little bit deeper like hey this is life insurance this is what home insurance this is what auto insurance do does and of course once we do that then you have the board game and you know all these terms you're learning all these terms and with the board game, I want people to see, I want children to see how it affects you in real life before it had to affect them in real life. So when they're going, thinking that about, you know, buying something, they're gonna be like, oh, I remember I used to play this game. I need to look at my interest rate. I need to know what my credit is. Um, just so it doesn't hit them like a ton of rocks because I know in college, like I said, when I went to college, my first, second day, they were like, oh, you want a free piece of pizza? Come apply for a credit card. And you're like, oh, you know what? I'm grown. My mama can't tell me anything. Um, I'm going to do this. But I want children to know um, what they're looking at when they're making these large financial decisions. It makes me seem small now, but it can have a very big impact on their lives. So you're teaching about interest rates and things like that as well? Yes, yes, yes. Inter oh, yeah, I have... Um, I'm looking around for it, but I have the stash, the stash money, flash money workbook. Um, we talk about credit, we talk about insurance, we talk about insurance, and it dives in a little bit deeper um, for both um, young adults um, and and adults are learning from the book. The book, and we just talk about you know certain you know certain topics. You just go into real life conversations, and we have examples where they can compare stuff, where they can see well, what you choose this is this a need or a want. Um, just to make it real for us, you know, before I, I want everybody, um, when I first started, um, when I came with the game, the, the Financial Jumpstart Academy is because we're not going to wait to the back end. I would like to be proactive better versus retroactive with it. That's splendid. Um, and then I'm sure you've gotten great feedback from parents um, and people in the community alike for such a timely game. Um, have you? Yes, I have. And what's wild is, I, when the board game came out last year, is I um it, it came out April fifteenth, which is the date my one one year anniversary for the business, and it was like oh gosh everybody's home everybody's home with their kids, what are we gonna teach them like we're doing virtual learning I, they need to know more stuff so it's very timely and it's fun I mean families are having fun people are getting kids together to um play the game and kids enjoy it they enjoy learning about money. And it sounds like it's really life changing too. I mean, you're creating, you know, responsible adults through this game. And I think that's fantastic. What word of encouragement do you have for parents watching who think that their children are too young to learn about financial literacy? I can promise you they aren't. Even if it's not like, hey, we're going to have financial literacy lesson. If you start creating habits like saving, guess what? Today, your grandma gave you this much. We're going to save some in the piggy bank. We want to save some. Oh, you want this toy that we saw the other day? Let's start saving. And without them even knowing, they're learning financial literacy lessons and they're creating great habits. Or let them see you save. Like, hey, I'm going to the bank to save. And you'll be amazed. Um, that was the thing for me when I was doing the classes, hearing some of the stuff kids would say. Um, I'd be like, oh, wow, like y'all are really listening. Um, I always talk about this um, one class, that, the last class I had this little girl, we were talking about saving um, and investing. And the guy said, oh, no, yeah, that's a 401k. And the little girl looked at him and said, 401k, boy, you confused. You thinking about a, a retirement account through your job. And I was like, oh, my God, they're listening. So it's always such a... I mean, I and I, I, I always said like five or six for the flashcards, but I have a on my Instagram a video of a four-year-old explaining what credit is because his mom had a conversation with him through the flashcards. So I try not to put a limit in it because I don't want to set any limits on our kids because once you start teaching them the stuff that they learn and enjoy and can tell you about, it blows your mind. 
Oh, well, you've done a great job of integrating the material into like fun games and activities. I mean, I see the flashcards are really colorful. And so I, I like that you bring the information to their level, you know, as, as, as young people and um, they're learning it. And I think that's phenomenal. And congratulations on a successful first year of business. Um, I want to thank you for being my special guest today. If anyone is interested in Sense to Sense, or even booking you as a speaker, or even booking you to teach their kids about financial literacy. <laughs> What's the best way to connect with you? Um, you can find us on our web, well, email us, info at sense to sense org and that's S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, the number two, sense. So